show you how to use the new uh, compact uh, starter fill station. As you can see right here, there's the packages that you get when you order it. Okay, so let's open it up. All right, so when you get it, you get the unit, as you can see right here. It comes with the washer attached to it. So all you have to do is just take it out with some pliers or something. Put that. You also get a spare O-ring. Now this one is a spare O-ring for a reason that uh, there's an O-ring in here, and if it goes bad after a while, I mean, you can just replace it and um, you're good to go again. Uh, another thing with this fill station, uh, this knob is uh, sealed basically, so you shouldn't be able to turn it. You don't need to turn it. The way this unit works, there's no reason for it. Um, also, another thing, you get the instructions, as you can see right here. All right, so let's put that away. All right, so I'm, this unit, uh, you're basically, you're able, we're gonna use a 50 pounder today, but you're also able to use a five pounder, uh, 2.5. Um, and uh, all you're gonna need is basically some pliers, a wrench, as you can see right here, and you're good to go. All right, let's start doing the process. All right, so what you wanna do is, you wanna take out the washer, there you go. You see the washer this washer goes in here and now when you get it you could it could either be white it could be black different colors uh, also the orange inside it could be black red um there's different colors all right so what you want to do is you want to put it here in the unit and start tightening all the way in now the good thing about this unit uh this nut right here you're able to position the station the way you want it to I'm going to keep mine around, probably here. This is when you get the wrench. Make sure you have it as nice and tight. There you go. Now when you get your tank, uh, you may have to make sure that it's really cold. As you can see right here, it's nice and cold. So pop it in the freezer, the refrigerator, uh, just to have it nice and cold. That way the whole CO2 can go inside fast. Also with these tanks, it's recommended that you have a siphon in it. It's gonna make the process way faster um, and easier. Um, and let's start doing this. All right, so what you wanna do, you start all the way. All right, make sure it's nice and tight. So what you wanna do first is open the big tank. Now the key step here is when you're opening this valve, um, you don't have to open it all the way at all. So what you want to do is you want to start opening it little by little. And as soon as you hear any kind of noise going, just leave it and let the tank fill itself. The process might take from three to four minutes. So just leave the unit, let it do its thing and come back and um, you'll hear that there's no noise anymore after like three or four minutes. So let's leave that here.
after like three or four minutes uh, should be full all the way so next thing you want to do is you want to shut down the first handle now there's still pressure in here so what you want to do is turn off the big tank there we go now another key step here uh, what you want to do is there's a pin that's hitting the tank on this adapter so what you want to do is you want to give it like half a turn and then just make sure they release all the all the air from everywhere there you go so there's no more air in the unit anymore so now you're able to take it out and there you have it